Now that we have a path layer, let's make our character move along it. To do this, we need to mess with our layers a little bit more. So we see our path layer, it has kind of what looks like a little hammer next to it. We want our character layer to nest under it. So click and drag your character right under the path layer. You should see like a black line with a white dot show up that shows up like it's a little bit shifted to the right. So once you have it in the right spot and let go, you see that the character layer will get pushed to the right a bit and the little icon for the path layer will change too. So now that we've done this, let's add our animation. For this, we wanna create a classic tween for this one. So for the classic tween here, we wanna right click on our timeline. So I have the character layer here, there's its first keyframe. I'm gonna right click and create a classic tween. This is gonna give it some length and let's go ahead and insert a frame for the path layer too, just to make sure it lasts long enough. So insert a frame here. So now we have the keyframe at the start with the character at the start using the classic tween, which shows up in purple. And then we wanna to go to the end, add a new keyframe and move our character to the end of the line. So we only added two keyframes, which was right here and up there. And normally with a motion tween or something, our cat would just move like in a straight line. But because we set up the path ahead of time, the character is now following that path around. Right now, I think it's a little bit too fast, so I might go in, click and drag the frames out to make it a little bit longer. And you can see, even though I don't see the path all the time, the cat will still follow that path that I drew. You can even use this to turn off the path completely, and your character will follow that line you drew, so you can use this for a lot of different walking animations to get your character around.